Hi friends, Radhika Roy Kumaya. So today we'll take up the joints concept in SQL. Like first uh, we'll see what is joints and uh, what are the types of joints that are available in SQL and how we can make use of it. Okay. So first of all, why we use joints? Yeah, so in the beginning uh, we used to store the data in a flat file table. Like in a single table, all the data were um, just you know fed. and uh, what happened is because of this the redundancy the data kept on repeating and it was like it didn't have that much of efficiency so uh, like we had to you know reduce this uh, repetition of data that is redundancy so we brought up a concept called normalization and using this normalization concept we reduced this big flat file table into small small tables okay so if you people don't know what normalization is then please you know google it out and you know then you can know why exactly joins are used and all so when the tables are separated uh, for uh, like for example if you want to create some reports in your company then the some of the details the data that you want will be present in one table and some other data will be present in some other table so when you want to club all these tables all these data together to get your desired output that time we'll, we'll use this joins concept okay so um so coming in uh, coming to this uh, so let me give an example like see in your company uh, you'll be having the employee details um, data in one table and the department details in one table and uh, for instance you want to create some reports regarding your an employee like you want to know how much salary that particular employee is drawing and in which department he is working and all that time the tables uh, different tables will be having different data like the employee uh, table will be having the employee name employee id and uh, whatever like which location is present all those things and the um, department detail will be having department number department name and anything like you will be clubbing those two table like employee table and department table together to get your desired output so that time we'll be using this joins okay so i guess you have understood why we are using joins so coming into the types of joins that are available in um, sql uh, one is um, inner join then comes the outer join this outer join is further uh, in a split into left outer join then we have right outer join then finally comes the full outer join so these are the joins and then the last uh, join is like cross join we even call it as cartesian product we'll see what is it when we are like uh, building up queries for this so cross these are the types of joins that are available so let us go you know one by one so first let us take up this uh, inner join okay so in order to make use of this join we need to have uh, two tables first so i've already i'm having uh, two tables that is employee detail table 1 and department detail table so first let us see the values that are there in this employee detail table and department so you can see uh, the employee detail table is having the column employee id employee name and location and department detail is having department number department name and employee ID. you can see that this employee id is a foreign key from this department detail table so if you don't know what is foreign key then i request you to know go back i have already created a tutorial for foreign key like how we need to create a foreign key and how we need to add values to it and all can go back and check it out then now uh, we'll see what is inner join so first of all inner join means um, uh, it will give a uh, result in such a way that um, you know when you say inner join of these two tables it will give only the values or the data which is uh, similar in both the table okay see for example um, i am going to when i say inner join and uh, in the where clause i'm going to give uh, this condition that uh, this department details uh, eid should be equal to the employee detail eid so that time it this um, it will check out only the values that are present in both the tables and it will give an output in such a way that the values will be present even in the department detail table and as well as the employee detail table 
so to make it more clear we'll first write the query and see how the output is so that you'll come to know how exactly the inner uh, inner join will work okay so i'm going to say select star from the table names okay it's going to be employee detail inner join you can see that i'm using the keyword inner join here that is i'm clubbing employee table with department detail table okay on i'm going to give the condition here what i'm going to say is employee detail dot emp id should be equal to department underscore det tables emp underscore id so i am making use of the the common columns that are present in these two tables that is employee id i'm going to say wherever the employee id is matching with department's employee id is matching with employee details emp id i need to get all those values okay so uh, let us uh, run this query you can see that the output is in such a way that employee id of this you can see this is employee detail uh, columns and this is the department uh, detail columns you can see that employee id and employee id's um, department column both are same we don't we are seeing here we have some more uh, uh, employee ids like 105 106 from the employee detail which is not uh, a result of this inner join uh, table you can see that whichever values that are similar to these two table that is what values we are getting here in the output so this is how the inner join will work so let us uh, move on to the outer join part in the next tutorial um, till then thank you for watching my tutorial bye